Libya is still, you know, uh, kind of <coughs> balkanized into East and West, West. Mm -hmm. and then the ethnic groups too. So the election really was held on, on those basis. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure the U.S. is glad the, the Liberal Party won mm -hmm. under Mahmoud Jibril, who is also an educated, American educated mm -hmm. also. So that's very significant and important. 60% of the 2.8 million you know, registered voters in, in, in Libya participated in the elections. Mm -hmm. Now, in Yemen, Yemen is very significant here in view of what is happening in Syria. Mm -hmm. Now, one way I think you know, Assad might be willing to step down mm -hmm. is to use the Yemen solution. What mm -hmm. happened in Yemen, you know, after months mm -hmm. of fighting, mm -hmm. is that there was an agreement that President Ali Abdullah Saleh, you know, will step down. He will be given blanket immunity from prosecution. Mm -hmm. he, the same with his entire family and close associates. Mm -hmm. And he will be allowed to stay in the country. That's how, why he agreed to step down mm -hmm. and his vice president took over. Very good. And of course, Dr. Madhu, so, this would be an excellent place mm -hmm. to uh, stop uh, for this sec second commercial break because I think that we can come back and deal with Yemen, but at the same time, you've already mentioned Syria, and you're talking about some of the possibilities mm -hmm. of perhaps ending uh, the stalemate that we face with uh, uh, Syria, as well as the killing that's going on. And of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. <laughs>